What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and it is time to kick off a new Let's Play. A Let's Play of an older game, but a game that I have not personally had a chance to play, and one that I am very much looking forward to, Near Replicant. So, big thanks to the folks at Square Enix for early access and a code to the game. Uh, as y'all know, we did a rather long series on, uh, on Near Automata back on the channel back in the day. Uh, it was, you know, 50 some odd parts, I think. Uh, and I've never played Replicant, so I'm actually like, I'm really excited to get into this. I've, I'm vaguely aware of the Replicant story because I watched like a recap of uh, the Dragon Guard ending to Replicant to Automata, which kind of explains stuff. But I never got to experience Replicant back in the day. I've heard they've made some good improvements, uh, and I'm, I'm interested to see. So hard might be a bit rough, but we'll find out. I remember, I know when we started Automata, I started on hard, and that ended up being very, very bad. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We are playing on PS5. The game does not have a PS5 upgrade. Uh, so, you know, it's just PS4, but I expect the the load times and all that to be uh, a bit quicker than they would be. But yeah, no, no, no PS5 mode just yet. I'm assuming we'll probably get one down the line. But anyway. Yeah, so my understanding is, I guess while they're while they're doing this intro, um, from from what I understand, one of the Dragon Guard endings basically has the dragon like come into the modern world, and then it's uh, like as its blood starts to seep out of it, it releases this mist, which then puts like a virus into the world and starts killing people off, or something like that. Um, but anyway, that brings us to Dear Replicant. Apparently this is like what's left of the world. Um, so, you know, kind of basically post-apocalypse type deal. But I'm sure the game will, will, well, <laughs> I, don't, I was going to say the game will tell us the story, but I actually don't know if it will. There is not known for, for telling anything, uh... Doesn't usually make things clear for you. Goddamn. Fuck. We're about to get a combat tutorial. Next to attack, L2 to defend. That's interesting. Get away, you freaks! I'll kill you all! jump as well. Oh, so block and dodge. Okay. Man, we are quick. Gone. 
okay? You okay? I... I think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll stop in a second. I promise. <laughs> But what about those monsters? Are they... Are they gonna come back for me? Don't worry, Yona. I won't let those things anywhere near you. I want to say that's a sister. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. that book. Not ever. Got it? Got it. No, can I bring him outside? No, I can't. They just keep coming. Won't let you lay a finger on Yona. So I don't know what I'm doing there because it almost it almost feels like I'm getting a a parry when I do that. Versus doing a, uh, you know, a block. It's like a, it's a last minute time to block. I need more power. I'm gonna do some shit. Protect Yona. Damn. It's like a spirit inside the book. Stay away from my sister. I mean, there's obviously got to be a cost for this. Like, he, he shortens his own life or something. You can now press L1 for Dark Hand. So there's a cost associated with it, but it I'm guessing it, it doesn't always refill that fast. R1 for Dark Blast. Hold the attack or magic buttons to charge your attacks, altering their effects. This can be performed at any point during the combo. Oh, that's cool. So as you hold it, it shoots, but it's also charging at the same time. Okay, so it's not like Dynasty Warriors rules, but at any time I can hold and I'll go into this multi-combo.
Oh. Dark Annihilation! Oh, that's badass. It's like uh, Spears of the Church from uh, the Dark Souls DLC. Bam, 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 bam. To do evade, keep holding an L after evading a sprint. Oh, oh, it's dope. Bah! Oh, what is triangle? That's like a kick. I don't get as I had dark hand, and now I don't have dark hand at all, though. There's a little auto battle. I don't want to do that. Oh shit, I know what's wrong. I'm hitting the button like I'm playing on Switch. Default. Uh, just, just custom. Yeah. Oh, here we go. No, one-handed sword, spear, two-handed sword. Item shortcut. Options for L2, L1 can only be changed via the magic ability screen. Magic ability screen. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Um... I don't have it though. I'll have to. No, I don't know. Huh. I mean, I like doing the punch thing. Oh, that's pretty badass. So if I'm holding magic, I did. Dude, all right, the combat in this game is gonna take some getting used to, but it seems to be pretty slick. Yeah, like there, I, I, I did a, a, a snuck behind the guy somehow. It's like, I think I gotta hit dodge as soon as I'm about to attack. You can now press L1 for Dark Lance. Dark Lance! Oh, I like this one. So I guess maybe it just builds up over time to different specials. I still don't know what I'm doing to get that pulled off, but that's badass.
Oh, you know what it is? I think it's me hitting dodge with a, like, really close timing, like, as something would hit me otherwise. This is gonna sound weird, but I feel like I'm getting more damage just spamming this attack. Like, look at the chunks I'm taking off now. Okay, never mind, that worked. Maybe it was getting behind the target or something? Oh no, 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 whiff. So far, the combat's not bad, but I'm wondering if the difficulty just makes them hit harder, or if it's just gives them disgusting health pools, because this guy's health bar is just, like, never-ending. I mean, he's almost dead, but damn. Gauges. When fighting large enemies, attack gauges will appear on specific parts of their bodies. Destroy those within time limits to defeat the enemy. So I didn't destroy it enough. Careful, my health's actually pretty low. What the hell? What constitutes destroying it? did not want to go down. I'm guessing levels are just handed out like freaking candy on Halloween considering I'm already level 30. Ooh. <laughs> Yona, talk to me. guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow, is that a cookie? Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No, come on. You need to keep up your straight... <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Yoda! Yoda! Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. Yona? Why did you? She touched the book. No. Yona! Yona! We need help. Please, somebody, we need help! Help us! I thought the protagonist of this game was like, I don't know, maybe it's the, the dude we played as older, but I want to say it was like an older dude, an older guy, like, uh, I mean, not like old, but it looks like he's in his like 30s, 40s. One thousand four hundred and twelve years later. It's uh, quite the time skip. All right, I'm heading out. Is this like them reborn or something? Yeah, it's Yona. Better not. I'm probably going hunting. <sighs> okay. So are they immortal? But I'll bring you back a book from the library, okay? Yay! Thanks! I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Well, I have no idea what's going on, but either way, we're gonna wrap things up here. Uh, so the game plan for this series, probably gonna be kicking things off with three per day. Um, and then once we get into next week, I'll probably slow it down. I expect this to be uh, pretty long, very similar to, to Automata, in fact, in terms of length. So either way, hopefully y'all are, are in for the long haul. But thanks for tuning on into part one, and I'll catch y'all a little bit later today with the next episode.